So it seems someone is finally speaking up of why the NBA is falling like a brick. And it's about damn time. And it's from someone I had to tell about having been guessed that he would say this. That man is former New York Knicks, Knicks head coach turned NBA a analyst for ESPN. Well, commentator, I should say. Jeff Van Gundy. If you don't know who Jeff Van Gundy is, he served as the Knicks assistant coach from 1993 to 1996 under Pat Riley and for a brief bit, Don Nelson. But when Nelson got sacked near the tail end of the 96 campaign, he stepped in as the head coach. So yeah, he was part of the 94 Eastern Conference Championship Knicks team. Albeit as part of the staff. And this was back when the NBA was split into just four divisions as opposed to the six we have today. It was a lot simpler back in those days. Anyway, that being said... And he would coach the Knicks through some turbulent times. A great year in 97, a major step back in 98... A Cinderella run that would have gotten them the title had they not run into the juggernaut that was the San Antonio Spurs in 99. A good year that fell short of the fi- short of repeating and going to the finals in 2000. And then the big mistake of shipping Ewing off to Seattle basically doomed the Knicks beginning in 2001. By 2002, Van Gundy left the Knicks midway through the season. He tried out, tried with the Rockets, it didn't pan out. And after that, he became a, co- a commentator for ESPN. And when NBC lost the NBA broadcast license, and Van Gundy saw this as an opportunity, and he became in the com- one of the commentators alongside Mike Breen in 2003. Anyway, last night, within the final four minutes of Game 5 of the West Conference Finals between the Clippers and the Suns, Paul George got hit and and it seemed like a flagrant foul. Van Gundy called it out as the sissification of the game. Keep in mind, Van Gundy is a very old school coach. He was part of the 80s, 90s, early 2000s era, where... These players, <clears throat> sure, they're about the money, but they were more about earning the money, getting their, earning their keep through their days in the grind, being on the court, injuries be damned at any costs. Now, social justice is eighty-seven percent of the reason that the NBA is dropping in the shit hood. But the other 13% is that, basically, these players just want the money. They'll take selected days off, off without reason, and or make up reasons. It's to justify why they're not going to play. Even though they're legit, they become glass can who do have legit reasons not to play, they're essentially glass cannons. Hence, the sissification of the National Basketball Association. And as a fellow New Yorker, born and raised initially, though I have been living in the Carolinas for the better part of over two decades now, I agree with Jeff. The game's quality has gone down the crapper in the past 15 or 20 years. And the way these superstar athletes, more like stupid star athletes if you ask me, want to either cater to social justice, social fascism, Or just act like little babies on and off the court. It's going to kill the association. I mean, you look at the WNBA. Their regular season just started. 
And they're still under under the noose of COVID protocols. But I'm getting off track. I mean, I eat the 10 to 20% capacity cap of the WNBA. But then again, the WNBA doesn't really draw a full crowd, doesn't get a full crowd in their cases either. Or because, in my opinion, the WNBA, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, nothing but a brood of entitled bimbos. At least the current crop of NBA, WNBA talent. I grew up in the when the WNBA was in its infancy, when you had people like Home Squaw, Swoops, Leslie, Lobo, etc. Back when those years were good, when the WNBA was just getting its feet wet. And what both the males NBA and the women's NBA have become now makes me sick that I don't bother turning them on most of the time. I mean, watching them most of the time. Why even bother with watching these sports anymore? I mean, sure, the NBA the playoff ratings are up now that LeBron is not in any of the later rounds. Because, let's face it, past 10 years, he's been a cancer to the NBA. And I've already gone on record stating he is a cancer. He and players like him are a cancer that need to be cut away. <sighs> but this sissification is another part of the cancer that needs to be cut. I agree with JVG. The NBA has been sissified over the last 15 or 20 years. These superstars are super sissies. They act like pansies. To get their ways. And you get their way. It's all flash. No substance. With these kids. It sucking fucks. It fucking blows. And I can't take it anymore. Leave a comment. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Mets2128 signing out. Goodbye. Good night. Bang.